स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज नोट डाउन द नोट्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आर अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ वीडियो प्लीज डाउनलोड यूर नॉट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी डिस्कस काउंटर करंट मैकेनिज्म ऑफ यूरिन फॉर्मेशन टूडे द लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस काउंटर करंट मैकेनिज्म ऑफ यूरिन फॉर्मेशन दैट इज ए करेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ टेरेस्टियल फॉर्म्स पर्टिकुलरली इन केस ऑफ बर्ड्स एंड मैमल्स इंक्लूडिंग ह्यूमैन बींग्स दिस काउंटर करंट मैकेनिज्म इट इन्वॉल्व इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ कंसेंट्रेटेड यूरिन हाइपरटोनिक यूरिन दैट हेल्प्स इन द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ बॉडी वॉटर एंड इन दिस काउंटर करंट मैकेनिज्म फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ नेफ्रोन एस वी नो द नेफ्रोन आर स्ट्रक्चरल एंड फंक्शनल यूनिट्स ऑफ किडनीज एंड ईच नेफ्रोन हैविंग फॉलोइंग पार्ट दिस पार्ट इज इट इज बॉम एंड कैप्सूल in this bowman capsule a network of blood capillaries and this network of blood capillaries it is glomerulus both bowman's capsule and glomerulus collectively constitute a body that is malpighian corpuscle in this bowman capsule this efferent blood vessel this one is efferent arteriole it brings blood and this efferent arteriole it drains the glomerulus this part is it is pct it is proximal convoluted tubule this part is this loop is it is loop of henle having two parts this one is descending limb and this one is ascending limb of loop of henle this part is dct distal convoluted tubule and this last part of the nephron collecting duct dear students this one is the loop of blood vessel and this loop of blood vessel which is present over the loop of henle this loop of blood vessel it is named vesa recta these two loops the vesa recta the loop of blood vessel and this loop this loop of nephron it is loop of henle both vesa recta and loop of henle play important role they play significant role in the formation of concentrated urine to conserve body water both limbs descending and ascending limbs of this loop of henle as well as the descending and ascending limb of vesa recta in these loops the flow of filtrate is in opposite direction that's why the system is named counter current mechanism dear students note down counter current means opposite flow of filtrate in this descending as well as in this ascending limb or both loop of henle and vesa recta means both loops vesa recta and loop of henle both produce counter current system this counter current system it maintains osmolarity of the filtrate here in this cortical part of kidney the osmolarity that is 300 milli osmol per liter which is increased in the inner part of medulla here in the terminal part of this inner medulla both in this loop of vesa recta as well as in this terminal part of loop of henle here 
the concentration of filtrate is maximum that is 1200 milli or small per liter dear students this fluid is it is interstitial fluid or tissue fluid the overall function of this counter current mechanism is to concentrate sodium chloride in this interstitial fluid or in this tissue fluid. No down, the counter current means opposite flow of filtrate in both limbs, descending and ascending limbs. Means two counter current systems operate here, one in this loop of blood vessel that is vessa recta and another loop that is loop of Henle and its overall function of this counter current mechanism is to concentrate sodium chloride in this interstitial or tissue fluid. Dear students, in this interstitial fluid sodium chloride is transported by this ascending limb and urea that is also present in this tissue fluid and urea is transported by the collecting duct of this nephron. This urea enters here in this thin segment of ascending limb of loop of Henle and finally it it is passed here in this tissue fluid so that this interstitial fluid becomes concentrated hypertonic. It means this counter current mechanism concentrates this tissue fluid, interstitial fluid. As a result, water from the distal part of nephron, water diffuses out. As a result, the filtrate becomes, water diffuses out. As a result, this filtrate becomes concentrated. Its osmolarity increases continuously from 300 milli osmol per liter in this cortex. And in this outer medulla of kidney, the osmolarity increases 400 to 600 milli or small per milliliter and in this inner part of medulla the osmolarity becomes maximum that is 800 thousand and 1200 milli or small per liter it means water comes out from the last part terminal part collecting ducts here in this interstitial fluid and this interstitial fluid becomes concentrated. From this filtrate, water is diffuses out. As a result, the osmolarity increases continuously. And the final urine formed here in this terminal part of collecting duct, its osmolarity, its concentration is maximum, that is, 1200 milli or small per liter. It means concentrated urine, hypertonic urine is passed out. It conserves body, body water. This is all about counter current mechanism of urine formation. Dear students, important topic for BSc, all competitive exam students, counter current means opposite flow in both limbs of Vesa recta and loop of Henle. Counter current means opposite flow of filtrate in both limbs. Here in this counter current, two counter currents operate. One in loop of Henle and second in this Vesa recta. And its overall function of this counter current mechanism is to concentrate this interstitial tissue fluid by sodium chloride and urea. The sodium chloride is transported by the ascending limb while this urea it comes from the collecting duct. 
and this urea from the last terminal part of this collecting duct it enters here in this ascending limb and finally it comes here in tissue fluid interstitial fluid as a result this interstitial tissue fluid becomes concentrated so water from the terminal parts water diffuses out and it increases the osmolarity of this filtrate from 300 to 1200 milli osmol per liter it results hypertonic urine concentrated urine and this entire mechanism it conserves water that plays a significant role in terrestrial forms birds mammals including man this is all about counter current mechanism of urine formation. Thank you.